Hi, I'm Susan Kennard and welcome to the Spiritual Awakener podcast. I get the opportunity here to interview and talk to amazing people who have been ordinary, ordinary people just like you and I. And then they realise that they had this spiritual awakening or this turning point that led them to remember so much more about who they are, which is exactly who you are. And I created this podcast so that you can understand how amazing you truly are. I'm known as a spiritual scientist. I help people to align to who they truly are in the world and live their true mission. And if you've got a turning point or a spiritual awakening you'd like to share with my audience, you can find me on susankennard.co.uk. So my next guest, I'm really excited to talk to this lady, this beautiful soul, because it is a subject that I haven't actually had on my podcast. So I'm not going to tell you too much about her. She is gentle, she is soft. I've only just met her and I know that you are gonna open your heart with this conversation. So let me introduce to you on The Spiritual Awakener, Yael Green. Is that right, Yael? Is that how I say it? Yael? That's right, isn't it? It is. What's interesting is that there is also a hybrid collective called the Yahels. So, and I, is that how I said it? Did I say it? Yeah, it, it was. It was good. Yeah. Oh good. my Thank goodness! You. Working with uh, my guides, my spiritual <clears throat> team, they're always having a laugh, right? <laughs> So thank you so much for being here and sharing your heart and your love with my audience. So Mm -hmm. if you were in an elevator, not that you probably want to be in one, but if you were Mm -hmm. and someone said to you, so what do you do? How do you help the collective? What would you say? Mm. And people always ask us that, right? What do you do? And we sort of see what situation we're in. And we, we always, I think, tailor our language, although I never tailor my language or what it is that I am serving here. And I, and I always find that, you know, I'm serving and I'm here as a part of this whole energetic balance. And a lot of times, depending on where it leaves people with, just the the blank stares which is fine because it's it's getting into themselves at a place that needs to be for them and that's okay not everyone has to understand at that exact moment so i think that's one thing for all of us to remember that even when we are in ourselves and are speaking our truth it doesn't matter where people receive it because they are receiving it at some point and it will filter in there so that's the first thing that I think it's important to remember for all of us. Wow. And it is, you know, it's like we often say, you know, I'm I'm known as a spiritual scientist. And that often opens the door for people to say, so, you know, what does that really mean? So Mm -hmm. if somebody said to you, well, this is your name, and you mentioned right at the start, you know, about the hybrid, Mm -hmm. what can you tell us about that? Yeah. Um, and I I term myself as you, a hybrid because it gives a sort of context for where I place myself within this collective and within the purpose. Um, the characteristics that I hold about that allow me to embody where I find my purpose in this time period. So keeping that in mind and because I want everyone to really feel like you are your own individual you're listening to my story right now but it's it's where you find your own place it's there's no one trying to be like someone else so for me um this is this is my first time in this body on this land on this planet and I find that very very helpful in so many ways because I am allowed to not attach myself to the karmic cycle that's occurring on this planet. Wow, yeah. Which is huge. Mm -hmm. It it is really so helpful because I'm not affected by the work that others are doing with the karmic cycle, which is very important. Mm -hmm. And I, I feel grateful that because I can see it from a perspective that is outside of it and still keep myself very connected to my origins, and I'm going to be less specific about this at that moment, to my origins, 
I can bring that origination energy into the service that I'm doing without it being transmuted by the cycles of karma and those dense patterns. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So do you say, so what, what I'm hearing from you is that you know we know you know you'd have to be in a coma if you didn't know what's going on in the world right and you're listening to this we are recording this on the 3rd of november 2022 but there has been a lot of stuff going on in the world and also we have awakened to a new level of understanding who we are mm -hmm. and those that hadn't awakened before are having a big wake-up call okay mm -hmm. so mm -hmm. Are you saying and let me see if i can get this yeah, from you yeah. is what i'm hearing is that no matter what is happening in the we might say external world although it's mm -hmm. obviously a reflection of our internal yeah um yeah it, it doesn't affect you you're able to see it from the observer you know mm -hmm. which mm -hmm. is a great place to be and i'd say i'm probably then 85 90 percent of the time mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'd and, say, yeah, occasionally yeah. I dip in and out of, you know, what's going on in the world. And that, just to be clear, I, it isn't that the physical vessel doesn't experience mm. what mm. is happening mm. because there's, we, we're not moving away from anchoring into this vessel. So mm. it's not as if I haven't experienced, quote unquote, the traumas. Of the, you know of normal life that happens in this body so that's i want to just clarify that that you know we yeah. we're here to do that we're, we're actually we're here to anchor in source energy into this vessel and i think that's really where we are on this plane of existence right now and i always do this because that's what it feels like is that we're alone when we look at the physical part of this we're helping to expand the capacity and the resonance of the nervous system when we look at the physical body hence all the autoimmune issues it's not resonant it's not able to hold the capacity of all of each of our individual source energies consciousness whatever we want to call that yeah. um, into this body so we can have many experiences of you know, having our plasmic self, our consciousness travel outside of the physical vessel. But when we bring in that information, we bring in that energy, it has to be able to integrate with what's here already. And so that environment is important. And right now, people are having a lot of these experiences, which is fantastic. And people are leaving as well. Absolutely. I mean, it's like, when I travel outside, I could absolutely leave the body. And then there could be a walk in in this body it's free to you know free to make that decision um but if you decide to come back and there's still purpose there there is the necessary place of being able to have an environment in this vessel that is able to hold it and you're able to bring that through in a way that is so how did you help for you yeah yeah how, mm. how did you know that like what you know like what was your um awakening what was your turning point that made you remember that that made you mm. say you know i am I, soul in a body and this is my physical vehicle yeah yeah i've i have always remembered being dropped off here i remember this and i my being here the consciousness turned it into coming in from the galactic origins from the galaxies and dropping it. in yeah. and yeah. leaving my galactic soul family i remember the feeling of traveling around with them and yeah. being based in a ship energy mm -hmm. um, versus a, a galactic star energy it's it was i'm from a ship family there is sort of this ship mother to more one being I, I use those terms because they're english terms they're easier to understand <laughs> yeah it's hard it's hard to sometimes isn't it you know like for people to kind of get a concept of it but if we if we could use english language or mm -hmm. you know language which is obviously something that's being created mm -hmm. you know to try yeah. and express um 
I'm just, you know, I work with the Galactus, as you know, and <laughs> sometimes when they come through, it's I, I have to kind of interpret it for people yeah. because it, it, it's hard. So yeah. if you were to able to visualize this with people, and I think this might be a really good way, if you could get people to understand, imagine you are <laughs> in a galactic situation, mm -hmm. you are that soul, and our soul mm -hmm. can be in many different forms, of course, mm -hmm. and you're this galactic energy, and you've made this decision that you're going to come and you know play mm -hmm. in a yeah. in a human form yeah. right yeah. yeah yeah how can how can people get that concept i get it but how can you get that concept if you this is the spiritual awakener maybe someone has never heard that before can you help mm -hmm. people yeah when with consciousness energy for me what my understanding is is that we're a unified field of this consciousness of these these energies not separate but there's a very distinct energy of playfulness yes, around that i use that word right mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. which is why i smiled yeah. when you when you said that yeah. um <laughs> and it's this sort of traveling around the if you just think of space you're traveling around space with all it's it's a family that's so close that you're one you don't know yourself as separate and the idea and that's the the longing that we all have in this body because you and i are separate when we have taken on physical form and when and we are one. not we are one exactly yes. exactly yes and coming coming from that sort of family of consciousness in a unified field in one and then traveling around and then pulling away from them and dropping down this is the exact feeling i have dropping down on the planet and then looking up and seeing them go away and not understand there was a like why are you leaving me why like being here, like i don't want to be here i want to be with you which is what i think we all have deep inside that longing to return mm -hmm. home i hear this you know i know what in my community i i hear people all the time say mm -hmm. well i just why would i want to choose this you know why would i want to do that i just want to be mm -hmm. in peace and i just want to go mm -hmm. home mm -hmm. but i suppose our journey is being home and remembering who we are and knowing mm -hmm. that this is just a moment in time that we're yeah. experiencing. Yeah. And that it's the opportunity. And the next step, I think, is it's the opportunity to play. Mm. Yeah. Because we've, in the karmic piece, everything has been so rigid and hardened. Yeah. And so I think there's a real softening occurring yeah. right now that's and i love that and i'm just getting like i want you to listen to this if you're listening to this it's the first time you've heard this information i want you to understand that when you remember who you are and this is just on a basic level of remembering that you are a soul having a human experience it feels like a playground you know like i my book just got published a couple of weeks ago I speak about the unified field in it, actually. Funny mm -hmm. you said that, you said the unified field of consciousness. That's why I channeled as well in it. And it was fun. It was play. It was joy. And where it goes is joy. I, I don't know where it's going. Yeah. I just know that whoever reads it feels that sense of unity, right? That was yeah. my intention. So when you remember who you are, life just transforms, doesn't it? because mm -hmm. you're no longer attached to mm -hmm. this is awful. I feel, you know, you remember who you are and you're like, oh, wow, like I chose this. It's actually a really cool experience. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, and I think it yeah. was important, the, the word that you use, the attachments, because that's all that happened is that you became attached. And when yes. we start to like unattach ourselves, unstick ourselves from, the the rigidity of the density that's there there so is to ask yeah. you, right because it's coming so strongly mm -hmm. 
we come in we've choose we've chosen a mother and a you know father to bring us in um are you telling me that you remember from being in the womb do you remember all of that do you remember like that process of being born do you remember no that? there was a no. process there was a time period yeah. of the first five or six years yeah. that i traveled consistently or mostly was back on the ship wow. i chose and wow. there was a, obviously a contract with the family that i came into the father in this life was part yeah. of my ship family he actually was with me for 12 years then had a, a traumatic accident and but that was and that's, his opportunity to, mm -hmm. so he went home? back yeah, yeah. uh-huh he okay. went back wow. and the mother that is still on this planet i yeah. had a so this was perfect for what i needed and that was her contract with it is that I never, a lot of the karmic pieces of people here, like you should dress like this, you should be like this. When are you gonna get married? All of those things. I didn't even have a curfew. I never had any rules around who I was supposed to be. And that was necessary I'm for me to like do that. I'm a bit like that with my children. I took mm. my children out of mainstream ed a few years ago. And I'm just like, we don't i mean that the other kids like to come around because we don't really have any rules <laughs> so they're like oh let's just come around to you know susan's house because they just like you know i have a couple of things like keep safe and things like that but not right. any rules you know that mm -hmm. yeah, we just don't really have any you know yeah yep yeah. and that's what that's what i had mm -hmm. yeah. i mean yeah. we should trust the them more than ourselves <laughs> Oh, totally. So. I mean, my children know exactly why they're here. <laughs> yeah. mm -hmm. And they mm -hmm. teach me all the time. Yeah. So exactly. It's, it, it's a lovely place to be. So this is really cool. So basically, if you're listening to this. So imagine, you know, as a soul, you're coming, you're going to be doing this, right? You come in, then you forget for a little while. And then you remember very early on. And I think this is happening with children now. Mm -hmm. They're truly remembering. And of course, we've all heard of, you know, past life books people write past life books mm -hmm. you know their children telling stories about you know my son yep. told a story of we were driving to the, the preschool um many years ago because they're teenagers now and he said oh mom um i i used to be in a field with the sheep mm -hmm. and I'm like, mm -hmm. oh way that's amazing so i i obviously because of who i am i was able yeah. to say to him that's amazing wow what was that yeah. like you know um as we're dropping his sister off at school and children are saying these things all the time and but often they're mm -hmm. they're, they're squashed right right yeah right so right this message is really important i think for families to hear and other people to hear is that your children know yeah. right so go yeah. back yes do you so yes. you were like going in and out you were like <clears throat> popping back and mm -hmm. yeah mm -hmm. did you do that in your dreamscape or did you do that in your daily you know walking um so i spent a lot of time in the water i placed myself as a, a swimmer so i was a professional so i was a competitive swimmer for quite a while oh, but wow. you know we find these places within this planet that can allow us to expand in and so it was a place that i I would, I would tell my parents, just drop me off. Don't even come in. And so <laughs> stay out. I know, but it was more like, this is, I was creating my sacred space. I was creating this yeah. temple my that I could have. Forest. Mm. So he has the sea over there. Like we live right by the sea. He has the sea, animals and the forest. Mm. Those are his places. Mm -hmm. yeah. Totally. Yeah, you know, we already know how to like, we're now as adults trying to like create sacred spaces, like there's these tools to yeah, do that. Yeah, but like, as, as kids, we already do that. So I created the sacred space in a city in the yeah. water. Yeah. We lived by the beach, but this is like, I would spend four to six hours a day in the water in this bubble mm -hmm. that really? I exactly, I didn't have to talk to anyone else, but there were still mm -hmm. beings around me. And that, so that was where I did a lot of communication wow. and I spent hours there 
And then also, you know, anytime there, I, I loved spending time by myself. Anyways, we lived further away from friends and yeah. I was fine in, you know, doing yeah. the things that I do. I, I spent yeah. a lot of creative time. I would just find these interesting things like drawing and seeing things around that were there and taking in a lot of information because at that time in the early seventies of the, you know, this linear timeline yeah. that we were, it was still creating a foundation for what we have now. Yeah, so I this, was born in 69. When were you mm -hmm. born? 72. 72. Yeah, so similar, like similar mm -hmm. ages. So yeah. that time, you know, I definitely know that um, when I was awakening, I was 27 at the time, but mm -hmm. when I was awakening, it's really not talked about, you know, mm -hmm. it just wasn't talked mm -hmm. about the mm -hmm. spiritual being. It wasn't yeah. really talked about. So yeah. Yeah. Very yeah. easy now, but not so easy then. Right. And I think it was necessary to be able to have those of us who are creating that mm -hmm. foundation so that the yeah. frequency of the energy of the, you know, of the planet mm -hmm. and the, the holding energy could be created so that it could hold these frequencies. Because, yeah. again, you know, we're all just energetic, vibratory energy that's all we are so in order to have that match we have to have the space match that so there was a lot of just information and it was just curious like i, I learning how he's human like the learning about and watching the karmic cycles and just how human beings do things and so i was just observing and learning a lot and sending that information back because consciousness is also i think sometimes we get the idea that other dimensions are above us you know we get yeah. into this hierarchical yeah. thinking but yeah. the sending that that they're a we're able to have this communication so that they can also send information that's appropriate for yes. us yeah 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 absolutely yeah i agree with that yeah so i was doing a lot of that and sort of in the the learning and the sending back and the the waiting process which is you know just it's it's just when i think back about it it's so interesting to go through and see how things shift and so why did yeah. we choose you know why why i'm i'm asking this question so that we we can have this dialogue for people that are, you know listening in um why did we choose that we're in a great place where having fun we're at one we're oneness we're oneness as it is and then we choose to come and inhabit a physicality right mm -hmm. why we have <laughs> I to know people are going to be asking that question right <laughs> mm -hmm. i think it's very human for us to want to know yeah. why yeah yeah um because it sort of it gives us a, a purpose a, yeah. a reason to do it tangibility isn't it as well it's like tangible. yeah like, yeah yeah i mean i think that exercise in itself shows why yeah that alone yeah. is like even if we never answer the question that yeah. shows us the importance of it because we source energy consciousness gets to experience yeah. itself all, in all these different ways itself as yeah. you itself as me itself as every different individual hence yeah. why we're so different yeah the, the think of her like i think that's why we have all of these like people put on costumes or things like that to experience different realities even in this body i mean yeah. i'm not a big costume person or like I'm good with like, that doesn't make sense me, for me. Me either. <laughs> <laughs> me either. And neither my son either. My son hates it. He's like, yeah. yeah. Like, no, this I is it. Feel, but never liked it. I think yeah. it's important for people because yeah. they get these opportunities to yeah. really try on. It's like trying on different ways of being. And it's like, if you think yeah. of consciousness and, and conscious energy, like, yeah, I want to put on that coat today and see what it feels like because it doesn't know what, think of the first time you put on that coat. It's like, oh, the texture. 
Yeah. We, we don't so feel our tested. physicality is a jacket. I often say it's like a jacket that we're yeah. putting on. And then when it's our time to, you know, leave mm -hmm. that jacket, it's literally just like a jacket. Mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm. Which they can yeah. Ask. yeah. 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 And I think it's really as simple as that is just the experience. Yeah. We don't have to, there's no like changing the world. Yeah, like exactly. I mean, having fun. It's like saying, you know, um, what, what, where, where can I best expand my energy? Mm -hmm. Like, you know, and this is what I do in my work. It's like, well, where, where can I best expand my energy? Where can I have fun, but also live my true mission, you know, to, to mm -hmm. kind of help people. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. I see it that way. Um, how do you see it? For me, because why I am here is for this mission, period. Because I'm not here to help work through any karma, to help shift it. This is, it's very clear to me. Like, I don't, ha there's no, uh, I'm not trying to be this or be that, or yeah. I, I am here to create this foundation so that others can come and be able to experience their own expansion through me as this portal through me as this mm -hmm. vessel i walk around simply if if there wasn't if i could just simply walk around on this planet that's what i do and of course we still have to have the coats of i am calling myself this or whatever but basically i just walk around on this planet and create spaces of expansion for people to awaken and open themselves up to who they are in consciousness form. So how do you do that? So, so people listening to this and they're saying, mm -hmm. but how do, how, do they, how do you do that? Like, do I telephone you? Do I meet mm -hmm. you? Do I, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. telepathy? Do I, what, how, how does it work? Telepathy, how it works? I do love the telepathy because that does happen <laughs> during sessions and that happens in between sessions. And it happens yeah. right now, even if we never make you know, verbal earthly contact, yeah. we have already all shifted something in this last amount of time that we've been talking together. So yeah. we've already had a session, all of us, yeah. but if there is, if we want to really connect in, I do, I work with, I love working with the element of water because it is so, it has, it's one of the most powerful elements in its capacity to change itself into different forms it holds all of the information past present future dimensional everything holds within water so i do i do work with people in the water if they're around the same location also do uh, water ritual water ceremonies water spaces and then i work a lot with people like everyone else on you know now on this digital platform yeah. and it's, it's just energy right exactly and i i find okay? where are you i am currently in portland oregon yeah currently yeah. there exactly <laughs> but you're everywhere so exactly exactly yeah. so it's you know it's these are these are really opportunities when I meet with people, I do quite a few mentorships where we work together for a couple months because I think it's important for this work because oftentimes people are coming from a place where they understand this, but they're trying to find more fine tuning. They've already done their trauma work, but they're trying to find the, the fine tuning with how do I expand even more into this, into anchoring that energy into this body because more transmissions are coming through. And so I work a lot on anchoring and then expanding the vision of how for each individual it's going to come through for them. So nothing is a pre-described no, or no. tools that you're going to give. There's no list of if this is right for you, if this, 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 or you're gonna get this, this, this. There's none of that on my website because it's, and I get people that are willing to sort of jump in. And, and, and you'll just, get the ones that are ready, right? Exactly. You'll get the ones that are ready. And, and, and because there was the resonance in um, the email that came in with your information, I, I hardly read 
a lot of information that I get sent mm-hmm. when people wanted to come on my podcast mm-hmm. because I just know that if I see it, I resonate with it. That's it for me. I don't, I don't need yeah. to read all that information. So yes. that that's, that's me being in my presence of yes. source energy. Yeah. yeah. And I think that is great for so people to remember. Yeah. yeah. People, people who are listening to this, they'll know that they've been drawn to this particular episode to resonate with you and I, yeah. and to hear this information. So let me let me think about this with you okay so that i can i'm I'm thinking for my listeners as well Mm -hmm. so do you find that people come to you and their physicality this beautiful vehicle that we've chosen their physicality is showing them some messages Mm. or some Mm -hmm. out of alignment you know kind of Mm -hmm. um, frequency Mm -hmm. Some people, yes, some people come to me with the quote unquote ascension symptoms, whatever we want to call them. Some people are somatically starting to become aware of these different things. You know, there's a million of them. We know when they seem like, I don't, it's the, why is that happening question? So some people are, some people are there. And then there's also some people that have passed that point and they're, there and we're always working all of us are working on the physicality of this mm. for the entire time we're in this vessel because it's going to come through in some levels so that is all i think that's a through line for everyone it's just dependent on how they understand and how they're able to process somatically like do they have the language to do that do yeah. people have the understanding and the the fine tuning of the listening skills yeah. and being able to allow them to process and pass through versus reacting yeah. and the trusting that there is this intelligence that is running through this That's vessel. Yes. And that is huge yeah. that we don't have to allow the ego mind to control it and take it over. Mm. And it's that really slowing down and listening to exactly what, yeah. I'm hearing, yes. you know, like I'm hearing intuitionally that, that yeah. there is this feeling like we want to fix ourselves and mm-hmm. we want to fix others as mm-hmm. well. Mm-hmm. We fix others. And yes. so I always say it's never our job to fix anyone else. Um, um, and it's, it's <laughs> yes. and uh, it's never, it never has been, never will be, but it's, holding that um quandary or that space for somebody to feel that own energy of remembering and knowing that they have all those answers within them anyway and what i really loved was the the listening so truly listening to Mm -hmm. what the body because i I don't know if you feel this but i feel like the body is the barometer for the Mm -hmm. soul and so it's exactly. my language is that I always speak about right. that because it's constantly talking to us. Mm-hmm. I mean, and soul. and our body. If we didn't have the body, we'd just be consciousness again, and we wouldn't have to listen. Yeah. So it's the yeah. it is the way we listen. Just like you said, you see if it resonates. So like, what does that feel like? And it's gonna feel I. It's gonna feel different for everyone. How does that resonate with you when you? you can move through life seeing how something resonates in your body. Yeah. And that's important. Like that's a huge skill because let your body do what it needs to do. If we thought we had to fix something, we would, we would know how to make the heartbeat. There's a reason why we don't know how to make the body do its functions. Mm -hmm. We'd be dead if we had to do that. (laughs) So So yeah. Speak to you. Um, so how can we speak to you together um, to this concept of, uh, how can I say this? The concept of the mind is separate from the body. Okay, so from the medical, let's say the medical mm. perspective, so okay. that we have to have something outside of our body. And of course, there's certain languages I won't, words I won't say on here um, because mm-hmm. of my platform, but there's, a belief that there needs to be something that fixes us 
Mm -hmm. just in case you, you know where I'm going with that right so how how can we help people understand that we are that incredible healing channel for ourselves mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I don't and yes and I I think the way in is not necessary the is not necessarily understanding it right I know we want to like and that is totally valid. Like the ego wants to understand. There's a yeah. there's a place and a job for the ego. It needs to tell me when I should walk across the street or not. Yeah. Is it yeah. safe? Yeah. Absolutely. Like I need those things for this body. I don't yeah. exactly. It it needs yeah. to do that. It needs to tell me how to pay a credit card. It's got to do all of that. A mortgage on a house. Yeah. Yeah. That sort of stuff. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. So when I sort of place it in a respect and reverence of it does that i'm not excising that yes but it has its particular place and then when i can start feeling and sensing that will be the answer and it is the jumping in and just trusting and starting to sense with your entire body and getting that information there's no right or wrong answer no one is looking for oh now you found it that is the correct there isn't because everyone is individual so yeah. every time someone comes to me like is this the right feeling like this is the right feeling for you because you are feeling it so it's yeah. it's the support <laughs> of yes no it's exactly grail, right every right? time there's no there isn't grail. i always say that there's no there's no holy grail you are that holy grail like you are that in yes so tell me because it's my own question here where do you come from? <laughs> so, but, you know, in the sense of the galactic, I know mm -hmm. we're one and I know that, but when we, right. before we came on, you spoke about, you know, the, mm -hmm. the, the, the ship energy. Yeah. 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 So, on in a ship energy, which is different than if I'm from, you know, Sirius or any of those Ladies planets. Or, yeah. <clears throat> yeah. Uh, so on ship energies were created with specific dna so i do have crystalline dna from you know certain yeah. planetary galaxies because that's the dna is basically just information yes yes i do have that so is that along with this uh collective of energies on a ship. So a ship, like, yes, we can picture a ship because we, we've seen them, right? We see them as blips of light in Joshua tree and different ley lines on the earth. Um, but it's basically a collective of energy that has come together for a specific purpose. And so that DNA plus future human DNA, because we need that. And then DNA from an earthly human which came from the, the mother that I have here all that has created this energetic being right here so that's what a ship energy is that's how it's slightly different from a specific planet mm -hmm. and that's that's so how do we know that we're like so this is it's such fun this is such fun so um if you're listening to this do you want to you want to know right people want to know where they've come from oh now. there's always quizzes so, yeah um, yeah, yeah. <laughs> how how um <laughs> how can how can people tap into that inner knowing i think that's the best way for me to say that yeah mm -hmm. clearing out clearing out some of the the patterns because once we get clear of those patterns that are stopping us it's actually right there it's the clearing out yeah. and creating the space to see yeah. because there's almost no remembrance. I know we call it remembrance, but it's just, yeah. it is already there. So the more that you can Knowing. clear out what you yeah. feel like is, you know, the patterns before it, creating the space, yeah. you, everyone already knows. And when exactly when you talked about you're translating it. Yes everyone is translating this information through everyone at every moment and i think that's 
Yeah. That's what we need to remember is like, oh, what am I translating? Even when we're talking at our job, yeah. what are you really translating there? Because what you're translating is important, even though you might be talking about a spreadsheet. There's something deeper than that that you're translating because these are just languages and there is important messages that are coming through from each and every one, even in the most mundane language. So, so, so what's coming through is, um, <laughs> it's coming through quite strongly, but they, what comes through is for me, definitely um, light language. So it's called mm -hmm. light language, it's mm -hmm. named light language, of mm -hmm. course. But, and it comes through um, in a way that, you know, you might think is really funny and ridiculous. And I, I like to laugh with everything. So I, mm -hmm. I find everything fun. And I mm -hmm. listen to it before it comes through. And then I speak it, uh, mm -hmm. especially the Syrian, the Syrian, they call themselves the Syrian High Council. That's what uh -huh. they called themselves. So yep. I'm like, okay, all right, that's who you are then. And that's what they bring through. Mm -hmm. And people feel a resonance in their soul when they hear the language. And yes. they feel, and I get a little bit of interpretation of the essence of it, but I definitely do not know every single piece that comes mm -hmm. through. It's more of an essence of the feeling, you know? Yeah, so, yes. Yes, that is, and that's the piece that we're all, we're looking for is, and which is why light and sound and vibration, it mm. resonates, it vibrates with us. It doesn't vibrate with us. Yeah. Every, yeah. You, we know when it, something vibrates with us and it's the, yeah. okay, yes. And we fall deeper into that. Yeah. So we're, we're, yeah. But we're just listening for that resonance throughout our entire day. I Your mind doesn't, yeah. Sleep. Like basically, yeah. Like we used to standing yes. joke in my groups that loads yes. of people fall asleep when they hear me talk. <laughs> yes, so and that allows our ego mind to stop because we get to go into the sleep mode. Exactly. And most most information until we're ready to move yeah. it through in an awakened way. Yeah. People are going to sleep because it's the only way that they can that are you know the beings all of this energy can get it through into this yeah. vessel is to allow yeah. this part of our brain to sleep. Yes. And to yeah. bring us into a Just, theta wave state. Yes. Yeah, absolutely. And I, 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 cause I remember the old days of, um, when I first started, you mm -hmm. know, awakening and remembering who I was. And I remember being in, um, circles of mm. meditation yeah and i just remember just coming literally coming out of my body and walking around this circle and i'm like, <laughs> like this is incredible and <laughs> and yet i was a little bit like wow what's going on here and i could literally feel myself walk out and walk around mm. and look at everyone and then yeah. come back in but yeah this, and that was in my 20s and mm -hmm. it was like Whoa, this is kind of strange but then it became a piece that allowed me to realize who we were on a stronger level mm -hmm. but also in a, a, a deep acceptance you know a mm. deep accept, um of who and i think many people are experiencing that now but many of my groups and so on they say oh um yeah i just fell asleep i don't know where i went i just fell asleep and mm -hmm. exactly what you said so if you're listening to this and you fall asleep when you're listening to me or Yale, mm -hmm. um, you'll know why. <laughs> it's because, yeah. you know, what you need to hear is going to come into your soul rather than through mm -hmm. the English words. Yes. Yeah. Yes, exactly. Yeah. Exactly. But does it still go in? So when people fall asleep, say they're listening to something, a recording or something, mm -hmm. and they're listening. Does it still go in? To, just to let people know, does it still go in? They're still hearing it. Everything is always vibrating. Remember, hearing is mm. just air vibrating in yeah. on this. When you look at this physical vessel, it's just air vibrating into the eustachian tube. Until that gets to the nerves, the nerves is actually they take it and then bring it up to this computer processor of our brain and turn it into the language of the pattern that we've learned. Yeah. That's all it is. So if you're listening yeah. here, it's a vibration. So we're always vibrating, which is why 
we're vibrating at every, like whatever is in this house and this room that I'm sitting in, whatever vibration this has held since the eighties when it was built, if I'm sitting within those vibrations, every time you walk, your vibrations are coming at you and around you constantly. That's why you see people when you, you have a resonance with them or you don't have a resonance with them because mm -hmm. you're, you're feeling that sense mm -hmm. of, you know, you can feel their light or you can feel their trauma. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And, I, it, and it's okay yeah. to decide that, okay, this vibration isn't for me. I was yes. like, we don't have to vibrate and resonate with every being. I mean, right. animals don't, they're like, mm, yeah. don't like you walk away. Yeah, no. <laughs> cats <laughs> yeah no absolutely yeah well actually my son i think he probably was an animal at some point because he's so much like that he's 13 nearly 14 but he literally if he doesn't like your energy he's not even going to be around you and he literally exactly, exactly like that and yes it's always been like it <laughs> and that's important to allow kids to do because oftentimes people force them to be like your responsibility is to be in these situations like and be yeah. nice no yeah. it isn't if you don't yeah. walk away yeah it's exactly. affecting your energy you're you're responsible for keeping your energy clear and safe yeah. and expansive that is your yeah. responsibility yeah absolutely wow 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 what a conversation <laughs> this has been fun yes yeah this is fun um so yeah you know, how can people get hold of you obviously it's <laughs> going to be in the show notes but how can they get hold of you if they want to kind of journey with you and mm -hmm. um explore more mm -hmm. the watermatrix.org you can find me on the website email me um i have the instagram the water matrix so you can find me on yeah. there as well so oh, any of those places on, on instagram definitely. yes um, yeah that would be fun um yeah i mean it's just been i mean it's been um an enlightening conversation um mm. and something definitely yeah. different and the understanding that you not understanding wrong word <clears throat> of course but the knowing that you had from the very start mm -hmm. of who you are i think is incredible for people to hear yeah yeah, yeah. It's, I, I, I appreciate just this information and this, these knowings coming out there so that everyone can start to see, like, I am just like that. I am that source energy. I am that consciousness. Yeah. And it's I, the, the joy it, we, you talked about the joy. You just feel the joy flooding through the body when you you can't stop smiling when you yeah, feel I mean, you that this in your heart. I mean, for the purpose of the recording because it will be on audio as well you know i literally have been smiling well you know i've been smiling the whole way through this interview because it's source flowing through us yeah you know yeah. and there's and there's also a recognition i feel as well like there's a soul recognition between the two mm -hmm. of us mm -hmm. um uh, yeah. do you feel that too it's like yeah you know, like yes Yes. yeah like soul recognition where there's mm -hmm. so much happiness and joy mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. i really hope this comes across in this podcast i hope that when you're listening to this that you can feel this joy between the two of us shining out because mm -hmm. that is who you are and it gives you an mm -hmm. opportunity to remember that you are this true peace and joy as well and you truly can be who you want to be in this world you chose mm -hmm. it you're listening to this episode because you needed to hear it and i'm honored that you know you're here joining us so dale thank you so much for being thank here you. thank it's you thank you honor to connect reconnect with you i'm gonna say yes reconnect yes. with you and yes. um yeah thank you again thank you again. so if you've got an awakening story wow you know that you want to share with my audience my listeners i would love to hear from you mm. please contact me at susan at susankennard.co.uk much love for now and see you soon